Hi Virgo, this is Kelly from House of Virgo. Hope you're all doing well today. Um, this is going to be your next 24 hours love reading for all and only Virgos, Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Um, if you want to get a personal reading from me, there's a link in the description box below. You can also follow me on Instagram. The link is down there as well. Um, and if you're interested in other Virgo readings, uh, you can visit my other channel, Moon Pie Tarot. Okay, Virgo. Ooh, ooh. First card to just flip out of the deck is the Tower. All right, let's get started with your reading here, Spirit. What is the message? The Tower here is like, boom. I feel like they want you to know. Spirit wants you to know. There's a major shakeup. Um, this feels like upheaval. This is kind of like... <clears throat> Things need to break down. Whatever was built on faulty ground, not sturdy or stable enough, this is destruction of ego. I just heard that. Destruction of ego. This is your person, Virgo, whomever you're connected with. Somebody that you may have been involved with or that you're currently connecting with. Their pride right out the window. I feel like this is spirit coming down. Hitting them in the crown chakra. Giving them a wake up call. This is the connection between wisdom and spiritual insight. This is breaking down of the ego. Everything that they thought they knew spirits the angels the guides are coming down say uh-uh <laughs> what you thought you knew you're not as powerful as we are and we're going to show you something destruction of the ego wow incredible let's see what else is going on here okay oh three of cups maybe you're connecting with someone um this person Taking life not very seriously. I mean, I think it's okay to have fun, right? But in your relationship, maybe they were connecting with others or having fun, jovial times with um, others and not valuing the relationship. <laughs> There's a stalemate situation here where it's like, just can't move, needing to make a decision, okay? And I feel like the universe is coming in and making a decision for this person because I feel there might have been like this, maybe somebody blocked you or just wasn't speaking to you because they wanted to explore their other options with others. Well, uh, they're definitely, I feel like, whomever else they're trying to explore their options with are just blocking them. It's not working out. Um, let's see what else is going on here. Okay, King of Swords. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You know, and it doesn't have to be, but the King of Swords, this person's like very strategic. There's some strategic maneuvers with this person. Oh, the King of Swords is very intelligent, very intellectual. All up in a uh, very heady, could have been Leo, um, also Scorpio energy, uh, very intellectual. They're getting a, like, I feel like they're saying a dose of their own medicine. Let's see what else the center of the reading here. Oh, the Wheel of Fortune. Massive change coming here, Virgo. A massive shift. Wow. Um, there's a turning point. The center of this reading. Something's changing here. A turning point for this person. All right, what else? 
Okay, the Magician. New beginnings. New start. Two of Cups. This could be somebody new that you're connecting with that's going, you know, it's just hit, like, got hit in the head. <laughs> Their ego got smashed. Um, could be somebody new coming in who's just, whether it's somebody new or somebody currently dealing with or somebody old, there's this energy of, like, They know who you are. They know this person is ready to come into union or have like this partnership or this deep love because there's something about your connection that's very healing and magical. And then we've got the line up here again. For a lot of you, this is Leo energy. Okay. Um, I feel like either you're going to be meeting somebody new who's just coming out of like an ego smash and it's just hitting brick walls in their dating life or it's just like blocking others and trying to come in or manifest something new in love and, you know, with you. Six of Pentacles. The six represents harmony. Six is a card of love. Ace of Wands. This person feeling a sense of inspiration, initiating a new beginning. Courage and willpower. All right. So let's get some clarifying cards. Let's take a look at the tower. What is this that's happening? Oh, okay. The Ten of Cups. Okay, fell out in reverse. So I'm going to give you both messages. In reverse, the Ten of Cups is um, maybe a broken marriage or relationship or something just, or connecting with others, a lack of support, tr family trouble, feeling empty inside. A difficult situation occurring in a relationship okay but it's also all this ego smash breaking down into the ten of cups and recognizing that total love and support is the most important thing commitment marriage i'm making that um emotional connection with someone and with you okay so i feel like somebody's coming to like they're being forced into um, a wake-up call here. All right, let's see what this Three of Cups is. Ha, huh, King of Swords again. That's twice in your reading. So we have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, we have Scorpio. I said Leo um, and Taurus. Okay, now if that doesn't resonate for you, don't worry about it. I mean, other cards will show up, but I feel like if this is not somebody that you already are aware of or somebody that you're, you know, this is resonating with you, somebody that you're already dealing with, this could be somebody new who's going through, I just keep hearing Dark Knight of the Soul and, and I'm hearing Ego Smash. So that King of Swords, very strategic. good communicator, communicating, um, talking on the phone, texting others. That was the plan with this person, okay? Um, but a little bit maybe of a con man or being abusive or bribing others to get love or get attention from others. Man or f male or female, it doesn't matter. Let's see this two of swords. Okay, there's the Five of Swords. So I always say with the Five of Swords in the other deck, um, the person is holding three swords, which is um, heartbreak, and then leaving two swords behind, which is the Two of Swords stalemate. I feel like something's not working out here. I feel like whomever this person was trying to connect with, thinking, oh, yeah, well, you know, Instead of, you know, just trying to have a deep committed relationship or that true love thing, um, I'll just keep my, I'll spread myself thin with others. And guess what's happening? Um, the other people that this person's trying to connect with is like, no, um, I'm looking for a healthy relationship and not someone that's just going to keep things surface with me. And so it's all breaking down for this person. Now let's see the King of Swords again here. 
Okay, the Nine of Cups, yeah. So now, after this breakdown, this ego smash or whatever's going on here, um, there's a shift. And this person is sitting here thinking about how to have that cornucopia you know the cornucopia is like it's not i mean it's very easy to attract other people and have surface relationships with others the real hall of fame win is to secure the love of another person right um not just to attract them but to maintain that relationship and keep loving this person didn't understand how to do that and just was operating out of um an ego state and but now it's like i don't know if they're older they're not young anymore whenever they were trying to um coerce or or get for themselves was all based on ego and here they are smash wake up the nine of cups is telling me this person is in this position now where they want to have their wishes come true have them come true with you the nine is completion accomplishment like i said and making a transition and they understand now that in order to have that love, they've got to be in a position of serving and fighting for you or fighting for the heart of a person, fighting for the heart of a woman, if you're, um, if you're female listening. They want the whole nine yards now. They're understanding that they keep hitting these brick walls. They keep striking out. People are... Whomever they're trying to connect with, just keep striking them out. I think it's like we're in this woke era. <laughs> the women especially have really leveled up. I'm coming out of that old friends with benefits idea. And really having self-value and valuing themselves. And the men are going through this too. The men are just sick and tired of take being taken advantage of and they're knowing that they have to level up as well so there's a major shift and that feels like the woke thing happening here so the wheel of fortune okay yeah letting go grieving and letting go of the past okay shifting out of remorse and regret and feeling sorry for self this person and manifesting here with the magician what is this person trying to manifest here with you Oh, coming in and doing the right thing. Justice, Libra and energy. Truth. Somebody's coming in to give you the truth. And I feel like, Virgo, you're my wish come true. You're the one I've wanted the whole time. But my ego was so big and I just pushed you aside or just, you know, or if it's not someone you know, it's just that this person wakes up to the fact that they are just spinning their wheels and they're not getting anywhere. Nobody really is trying to connect with them. And this person's like a try hard, just trying to get that ego kept up. And people are rejecting this person, but they know all the time that it's time to settle down. And if this is someone you've been connecting with, they're coming to terms with that. They're also getting true with themselves, laying their cards out on the table, cause and effect, having a win-win solution. All right, so this two of cups here, there's union happening here. Start of something beautiful. Maybe it's a restart for some of you. Maybe some of you let this person go. So that's it. You'll learn. Go learn. <laughs> yep, eight of pentacles. Really going to work hard for your love and for this connection. Put that effort in and enjoy it. <sighs> It's quality. It's about quality. You know, the Eight of Pentacles is about craftsmanship. Okay. And it's also about repairing. It, this person's in repair mode. I want to fix this relationship or just fix their life, fix themselves so that they can have, you know, come in contact with their, their soulmate, have that connection with someone special. 
okay? This is about mastering. This person wants to master your heart. They want to be the winner of your heart. I feel like there's going to be coming into contact with each other. And the Six of Pentacles is here. Self-sacrifice and giving reciprocity. They might have been just very selfish in the past. Well, now they want to give to you. Let's see. A clarifying card. Four of Swords. Okay. Retreat. Recovery. Renewal. Renew this connection. Um, be in a place of peace with you. They know, this person knows that just to have peace in their life and have that one partner that just brings them so much joy and happiness and the exchange of that, the reciprocity of that will bring absolute uh, a sense of happiness and joy and coming to rest. I'm just hearing rest their head on you. Resting, if you're female, resting their head on your breast and just saying, I'm home, right? Whether you know them or not, meeting you, I feel like it's not a settle down without getting to know you. It's more or less like connecting with you and knowing that you are the best person for them. So the Ace of Wands is here. There's a new start happening here. A new beginning. No more false starts or delays. No more rejection. This is inspiration. Oh, an Ace of Pentacles on the Ace of Wands. Again, no more greed. No more stressing. You know, having this new beginning. Seeing a golden opportunity before them with you okay for some of you this could be an air sign libra coming into your life okay because you do have the king of swords twice it could be gemini or aquarius somebody new that you don't know for others it could just be your person whomever that is all right um i want to get another clarifying card for the ace of pentacles Oh, the chariot. Wow. That is amazing. That's cancer. Cancer energy. So the chariot is taking action and making change. This is a journey. This person's coming to see you and to initiate a new start. Very passionate about you. Sees you as someone that can bring them luck and stability which of course you're a Virgo <laughs> can bring them um, abundance. You're someone that um, they see as very resourceful uh, and quite domesticated in a lot of ways. Even if you, you know, you dress like a punk rock or person or something, it doesn't matter. They, you still retain that within you. Um, they see that you're someone who is a team player. You like having a partner in your life. Um, you're someone who's very helpful and generous, okay? But they also see you as being very passionate. So the chariot makes me feel like um, this person's like in a hurry to come and get you. They might even buy you a new car or help you with a car. I don't know what that means, but. They're on the move, this person. A chariot is like somebody who gets, like they coordinate their GPS, they figure out, they make the plans, and then they follow through. Chariots of follow through energy. Let's get a couple of angel wisdom cards to see what your other messages are here. What else does Virgo need to know? I'm just feeling like ego smash. This person, has an ego smash. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out the best way to shuffle. These cards are bulky and awkward and my hands are kind of little. 
so please forgive me. Okay. Ha! <laughs> you. The Nine of Pentacles. Single, independent, enjoying the fruits of your labors. Working hard, which is leading or has led to a luxurious life. Buying yourself something special. You're happy, successful. Some of you are self-employed and you're really just enjoying your life. Um, taking care of business, Virgo. You know, I feel like a lot of you, if you knew this person, you just let them go and you're like, go ahead, learn your lesson. Let spirit teach you because they, they're going to be able to do it a lot better. Some of you are just single and you're like, I'm done. And this person goes out and tries to like make it happen with others and it's not happening. And boom, they get hit on the head. And they want you back and they want to come in with the truth. Tell you they made a mistake they're having grief remorse for how they treated you um, and they want to make change they want to change that around and for others you're just like living your life for you singles and just enjoying your life and you go you're going to come into union or connection with someone who um may tell you or you're just going to know right now that they just went through a massive ego thing and it brought them to their knees and they realize uh, they're ready for having that true healthy long-term security and relationship let's get another card for you there we go oh the world wonderful brilliant success a time of joyful accomplishment spiritual enlightenment freedom to do whatever you want be proud of yourself you have a choice you can let somebody come back it's not saying whether or not they're not saying what whether or not you're going to take them back if it's someone from your past it's just that they're going to try to come back in and make a massive change with you and you know the world is here so there's a new beginning that could possibly be happening with this person um clearing the slate starting over okay back at the fool's journey um or you are just keeping it moving and clearing the slate and starting a new chapter for yourself okay virgo or it's somebody new coming in and it's like wow we've completed the journey's completed and now you're both single and now you can both meet and come into union you're meeting your soulmate that's for sure or one of your soulmates okay wow we have the eight of pentacles again learning all you can about a subject or career going back to school taking a seminar and finding a mentor attention to detail skilled work that you love there's massive effort being put in here this person is going to put effort into the relationship you're putting effort into what will make you happy and if that's the relationship so be it if not you're going to continue building mastering your craft or whatever it is that you do in your life and just keep on keeping on okay knight of cups yeah romantic flirtatious introspective falling in love being swept off your feet a sudden love affair situations or topics that make your heart flutter a love of art and poetry there's a proposal <coughs> definitely this is your prince or princess charming romance is coming for you okay um so i just want to get a couple of love messages for those of you um where this is your past person having hit the bottom <laughs> rock bottom and are coming back in what would they tell you okay you speak to me through music it was my fault but i blamed you so whatever they did wrong they acted like it was your fault, but now they're coming in to tell you that, that's, that that was wrong. They lied. The truth is it was theirs. They wish things could be different. They will wait for a sign from you. 
oh, they're coming. You just give them the sign and, and they'll, they'll come in and fix things. Just being near you is intoxicating. This person knows that they crossed the line with you and they're, they're sorry about that. They are really, truly trying to become a better person. All right, Virgo, that's your reading for the next 24 hours. I hope that this does pan out for you. It is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate for you. It's okay. Come back tomorrow. There will be another message for you. Hopefully, it will be good for you and resonate and it will come true. And uh, yeah, please do hit like, share, and subscribe here on my channel if you're new and you enjoy my readings. And thank you to everyone who has been subscribing. I'm truly grateful for that. And I will see you all tomorrow. Take care.